hey, we are about to cast the Deciders match. It's Ignite against Ryzen. We might or might not have drank some alcohol, but we are fine. And the match is about to start. The players are handshaking right now. And we are about to go into game one. We can't see Ryzen Sand right now, so we'll just go with Ignite for the moment. We see him start with a 5B Win X and some cards he will money gain, right? Yeah. So what are you looking for? Um. <laughs> and why is there a Shield Slam in the Patron deck? You have to re reference. Why is there a Bash in the Patron deck? Um. And why is there no patron in the patron deck? So I will still wait for Ryzen to let us spectate. We see him go for a turn one shredder, which is a pretty good play. Yeah. But double five reward X deals with that quite easily, unless there is a mill house, and there isn't. Oh. But that's also a good minion because it doesn't die to the second five reward X charge. Yeah. Oh, you have why the growth? You the big game hunter here? Mm, yeah, I think so. Okay. Do you attack so you can play Despite and attack next turn? Um, maybe. Okay, uh, so you attack the face. Oh, he missed 3 damage. Never lucky. No. <laughs> so, you see Risen, Risen play a Shade. That's not quite what you want. You want to play a Keeper of the Crows just to kill Big Game Hunter here. But even if we don't know a sand, we can assume he doesn't have a Keeper or a Shredder, so he has to play a Shade. But at least Ignite was a quite an awkward turn because there's no good play for him. We'll rejoin the game right now because it might have been an issue with Fizzled Spectator mode. And we should see everyone's hand now. No way it works. Second execute, not what Ignite wants. He has a Despite to eventually enable execute, but there's no execute target. And he doesn't really have uh, anything to do this turn. So not really what he was looking for. He probably will use his Warx charge and equip Despite, right? Yeah. It's time to... SM work? Yeah, SM work. Wait, to hero power, that means you can't despite anymore. You just missed damage to face. And he tap digged. Oh, he tap digged the 5 top on 10 5. Yeah. We should take a shot on that. <laughs> okay. So. Even though you top deck like the perfect card, he still considers like how to BM with it, if he should play it, if he should wait for rope. He doesn't quite wait for rope, but it's almost there. And attacks face, keeps his shade unstealth, I don't know why, missed three damage. But did it regardless. <laughs> Might have just been a misclick. Oh. 
Why did you draw a 5 top 1 and 6? Like, is, would it be better to draw a 6 top like Sylvanas for Emperor one now? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not sure. So you rest for one hero power and play the Nessus? Yeah. That's pretty good. Or do you keep her now? I don't think so. Why? No, he missed more damage. Oh, never like he might must have been like a misclick or something. Ignite being a quite experienced player, there's no way he would miss for damage on purpose. So <laughs> production can be like look at that. That didn't quite hit the face. He <laughs> hits face for four. Next time he plays Baron Gallen, hits face for two more, and then Quamash and Desperate Attack is lethal. He just right. missed Lisa. Yeah. What is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> the boars. <laughs> so do you think he will equip War X without attacking just so he can double execute afterwards? Um. Oh, I guess you might want to play the Shield Slam instead. Yeah. So you can shield block, hero power, Shield Slam, the 4-6 and then Death Spite into Shade? Yeah. But then your executes just suck. How do you ever use your executes after that? kills your Haunted Creeper, you are weak to Mind Control Tech. So maybe you silence your own Haunted Creeper with Keeper of the Crow <laughs> to play your Mind Control Tech. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, we're professional Hearthstone players, we have to like, <laughs> think about that stuff. You can't just miss it and play your into Mind Control Tech. <laughs> so, Ignite doing a quite a big misplay here, but he is probably getting away with it. I mean, <laughs> why isn't because Ignite does not have the mind control check. <laughs> so you could attack the, haunt, uh, the Keeper or the Shredder. Maybe, like you could, for example, attack the Haunted Creeper, execute on Keeper and just Baron Gallant to kill off the Shredder. Yeah. Or you use your Death Ray to attack the face and just play Baron Gallen. Um, He should attack how did Creeper ran? Is it good for creep um is good for Keeper and Baron Gaddon here. Okay. Let's see if he goes for it. But he misses four damage to face by doing that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he will get off the shredder? Say a minion, without looking. He's not looking. Any two twelve, go. How did Creeper? Oh. No. Well. Frame turn to rain. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. You can't say it after you saw it and after you missed one call. <sighs> so, we see Warrior was a kind of awkward position because set isn't really good. But we see that Druid has probably the two worst cards in his deck to have at this point of the game. So, both players with bad hands, but Ryzen has the board at this point. So we will Warx and probably Shield Maiden, let's see which of the minions he attacks. Oh, no. is that an Execute? That seems kind of weird, right? Yeah. Because Shield Maiden threatens to trade really efficiently to your opponent's board. 
and it's more mana efficient. So there's quite a bit of player that will get punished by the keeper next turn. <laughs> Okay. Do you attack face with the war axe here? Oh. Missed three damage. <laughs> okay, so that would be a pretty good turn to play your second Baron Gaddon. <laughs> Baron Gaddon attack to keeper, clears the board, really efficient. Leaves you with a 7-5, and you can hero pass you so you don't die to combo. So do you think it's a misplay by Ignite to only play one Baron Gaddon in, in his deck? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Are 6 and Surrender advancing to the round of 16? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are professional household casters. <laughs> As players, we never get lucky, so we decided to cast instead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gormash has a pretty good four here. Yeah. His opponent doesn't have combo. For some later, it's only 10 damage with the shade and the zero power, so he's two damage away from killing his opponent. So, hero power phase. I don't think you play for some just to clear the Gorm here, right? Yeah. So, you hero power phase, but do you attack with the shade or do you just keep it stealth? Would you attack here with a shade? Um. Because if your opponent trades, that means it saves you 10 HP, which gives you another turn. And if he doesn't, you can attack twi twice with your shade. Yeah. So you hero power and shade into phase? Yeah. Okay. I will always SMO. Okay, <laughs> you heard it here first. That's a Kore Korean meta. You always <laughs> SMO. Let's see. If Ryzen agrees, Ryzen a player of the worst region in Hearthstone, the North American region. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not Korean enough. Oh, he top deck. Oh, well, I guess we have to take a shot on that. It seems quite obvious that play Jessica here, right? Yeah. You get one less armor, but you get two more armor next turn. It just seems better than Shield Maiden. What so, what card will rise into our next turn? Um. There were 40 cards left. Say a card. Oh, he tough. Um, he so throwed both of nature. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 12 damage from hand, 4 on board, that is still 2 damage off. Yeah. And now, you will have to force of nature, innovate force of nature just to kill Chrome, I think. <laughs> it's like Otherwise, we'll just die on board. I think he has to play double force of nature. He could have just played one. Actually, maybe he only plays one, but if he only plays one, then. He would not have an out for next turn. Double post of nature. Rape. <laughs> but he, wait, he could have just played one force of nature, killed the shield mate, and he were powered to get to 11 HP. Wasn't that better? Um. Because then you can win next turn with combo. This way you can win an extra anyway. Yeah. So now you just lose. Wasn't it better just use one force on edge to get shield <laughs> made and hero power? <laughs> yeah. So those players are probably more drunk than us right now. He just... He's just American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we will see hero power, Jessica hero power. He doesn't power. have a boss.
Now we roof. Okay, so the warrior attacked game one. That matchup used to be pretty bad for the warrior, but it became a lot better with Jessica too hard. So a matchup that has been quite even recently. Warrior attacking game one. Now Wizen has his own warrior and hunter left. He will probably go for the normal match, but we will see. It might be Patriot, then he would probably go for Hunter instead. Okay, so we see Hunter. Most likely a mid range Hunter. Yeah, seems like it. I will keep Taskmaster and Sram here. Forward. Um. You know that. Maybe. I'm not sure if you played Hearthstone before, but if you look at Taskmaster's. Deal one damage to a minion and slam L cells deals two damage to a minion. So neither of them can go face. <laughs> so are you sure? Yeah. But they can't go face. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he agrees with you, he also doesn't like going face. From my perspective, it seems like you win the game, but you kill your damage to your opponent. So any card that doesn't deal damage to your opponent feels pretty useless. So I'm not sure about this, but Maybe so then I can explain why it's good. I guess it's just not correct. But he goes for it regardless. Do you play Taskmaster so you can go face next turn or do you hero power? Um I think it's just Taskmaster? No, hero power. <laughs> but hero power only goes on your face, not on the opponent's face. <laughs> We saw Ignite winning game one with Warrior against Druid. And this matchup, like, considering Ryzen picked his Hunter over his Warrior that met that time, it kind of makes it seem like his Warrior is a um, patron list. So this game is really important for Ryzen. If he loses that, he will most likely have an unfavored matchup for the last game. So, oh, he has double badger. Oh, but for this cheat. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheating now. Oh, Edmund, please. Taunt is cheating. <laughs> it's like a pretty weird tournament where taunt isn't banned, but I guess that's what we're playing. So, Ignite going for the double taunt. Let's see if Ryzen. Has an answer, maybe an Iron Big Owl, or has to call the admin about the taunt. Is that a Leok? Leok! Yo! <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good answer to taunt. Doesn't need the admin decision to deal with that. Just trades into it quite efficiently and sets up for a pretty good Hound Master next turn. Yeah. Oh, a quick shot here. Reflects him from maybe execute, so you can't, like, let's just. Leo Kai has to survive. If Leo survives, Hound Master is really good. Do you badge or slam hero power shield slam? Um. You can also slam the Sunfury prote Sun Protector and then Taskmaster execute Leo, so you kind of get board control back. Mm, yeah. Seems like he's going forward. Now, do you unleash kill command? That's 8 damage to the face. For what? Uh, face? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Um, I guess you just bow hero power? Yeah. Bow hero power is pretty good. And what do you, do you do next turn? Um, oh, afraid. On the master, but that doesn't go face. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty bad play. Oh. Well, why isn't going for the misplay? Doing something that can't take the face right away. Any top deck, he gets death punished. Bite. That's a pretty good top deck, so we should take on that. Yeah. <laughs> and he played Doctor Seven. He Ignite could shield slam 
on mm. Dr. Boom and then just Death Spite to yeah, kill it. Yeah, Sith And then you can play Jessica True Heart. Yeah. And then next turn you can play maybe Hero Power, Shield Slam, Sludge. Or yeah. But his Dr. Boom has a green light around it. So usually Dr. Boom having a green light around it means you should play it. So what do you do? Um, Sith Ram and through hot here. Okay. Yeah. Shoots them face. No. <laughs> <laughs> Death bad <by> face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can't play Dr. Boom, attack face, and make that boom bot skill opponent Dr. Boom. <laughs> right. right. Okay. Oh, he broke. He did, bro. Always lucky. <laughs> And one to the face. That's pretty unlucky for Ignite. And now why isn't Sign is really damn awkward. It's probably going to be play Eagle Horn Bow this turn, but suppose it at 17 HP, so not that close to killing him. Yeah. And now he will pray Dr. Boom here. Why? Why is Dr. Boom the right play? Is Dr. Boom just something you always do when you can? Mm, yeah. But if you always do it when you can, and there's like no exception, isn't the card overpowered? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you think Blizzard should nerf Dr. Boom? Yeah, of course. Okay, <laughs> so Blizzard doing a pretty poor job balancing its ca digital card game. Let's see if Ignite takes advantage of that and plays Dr. Boom right now, or it's just <laughs> going for another play. It's only two to the face. Like, no, pray, Dr. Boom. Just do it. No. That's only 3 damage, you have put 9 damage on the board instead. He has no boards. <laughs> <laughs> but even though he has no balls, the opponent has double freezing traps. That's like even less balls. Yeah. Playing 2 defensive cards and drawing them, so... Even though he has almost no balls, he might still have more balls than his opponent and... Still be able to win the race. I'm pretty sure we'll see a uh, Dr. Boom Hero Power and uh, turn 10 Hero Power, Jessica Trueheart and Hero Power. So let's see if that's going to happen. Please, please just pray Dr. Boom here. No, has no board. This doesn't even give him more armor. There's absolutely no way he would die this turn with a sludge out. So this is actually, I don't want to call it a misplay, but it's a really weird play because you get two more armor this turn than if you just play Dr. Boom Hero Power. But since next turn you can play Hero Power just to get through and Hero Power again, you get the two armor back next turn anyway. So yeah. he doesn't even get less armor and the other better board. So pretty weird play to play Jessica right now. But let's see how it pans out. Armor is cheat. Why is Dr. Oh, maybe he saves Dr. Boom to play Dr. Boom and shield slam both the boom bots to hit face for 8 damage. <laughs> so that's going for a very aggressive play and saving the Dr. Boom as a finisher. Do you attack now or just hero power and fatigue your opponent? Face, always face. But does he take a minute as well to block the freezing trap? Yes, he does. What do you think does Wise need to win this game? Mm, high main, maybe. How many high mains? <laughs> Eight, nine? <laughs> And he top picked high main and risk he has high main now. But 
What does it do against that board? Let's see. This board is still 24 HP. <laughs> is one high man enough? No. How many? Mm, I think five high men were enough for winning. Okay, so you get one of his five high mains. Let's see if you can throw four more high mains back to back. He <laughs> <laughs> plays Freezer Club, will only kill a boom bird. Well, freeze a boom bird, but that will give his pawn another charge. So that's what he is going for. That didn't quite hit the face. Is it Rito? What? Um, he has Rito now. How? Wait. Here, he at least he could shoot them on Boombot. Yeah. You can play Boombot, shoot slam, and kill his opponent. Yeah. <laughs> but no, wait, yeah. So, I think it's the first most lethal we see this series. <laughs> Ryzen realizing the problem is lethal, it goes for the BM, well played. But we really are lucky, only it was an Eagle Horn bow and loses regardless. So, what do you think about this game? Are those players playing well so far? No? Well, let's take a shot on it. Make it more enjoyable. So now we see the warrior mirror. And actually it's control warrior, so we just saw that as Hybrid Hunter has a good matchup against his opponents. Warrior loses regardless. Now, the mirror match. We didn't see Harrison in, in Jones in the Ignite stack. Yeah. Ryzen might play it, but if he would have played it, he would probably pick Warrior for the last game. So, most likely a pretty even matchup coming up. So now is Control Warrior versus Control Warrior. So it's time to Resonance Reaper. <laughs> yeah, both of these players really hating the Twitch community, forcing them to watch a Control Warrior mid mirror match instead of being nice to their fans and playing some face decks. Never lucky. So Ignite playing the Taskmaster over a slam or anything else because Taskmaster has the ability to attack the opponent's armor count for two damage every turn. Yeah. Unlucky his opponent has a slam so it doesn't get to attack. <laughs> so do you attack and play Despite? No. Why? He just missed 3 damage <laughs> and 4 damage for next turn. <laughs> yeah, Ryzen does it right. He plays the Despite and he attacks. No, he doesn't attack! He missed 4 damage as well. <laughs> wow. That's a really interesting line of play. Not attacking the opponent's armor count. He gets punished by a shield slam. Now his opponent's up at 37 HP, but he's only at 36. So in order to win the armor race, he has to play shield block or hero power this turn. Or shield maiden. We just go forward and it's ahead of the armor count now. Ignite does play this slam. He realizes he has to draw another shield block to win the armor race. He doesn't get it, and that means that Ryzen will end this turn with more armor than his opponent. It's 32 HP to 41. How do you come back from this? <laughs> oh. He tap tap take better. Oh, that's a pretty good cross. <laughs> yeah, he's throwing too much. So Ignite seem to be able to take the series. Sweet to zero because he has more cards in hand and the cards he has on hand are better because Wise has more armor but playing shield block doesn't deal with his opponent's board and costs the mana just to cycle a card. He kind of has to waste his turn just to cycle his, the cards on his hand, which isn't really what you want to do. 
But does he have an alternative to play shield block this turn? Is there anything else he can do? Oh. <laughs> so we see that Ryzen has three more cards in the stack than Ignite, so if it goes to fatigue, Ryzen has more armor and a lot like gets fatigue a lot later, so he might win the fatigue. A battle, but he has to get there first. He has less cards in his hand if he has to uh, use a card for every opponent's card to answer it. He might just run out of cards, but Dr. Boom is a pretty efficient card. Ray, your car is coming. Um, alright. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time to Resident Reaper. Um. Do you play Big Game Hunter just for tempo? No, <laughs> but it's no. full damage every turn. Okay, <laughs> do you think the Ignite will ever play Ignite of Pain in this game? Mm. No or no? He yeah. played Dr. Seven. But it's turn 10 already. No. <laughs> Why is it three turns late? <laughs> this is a new meta game where you play. Wait for the 10? If you play Dr. Boon to 10, why don't you replace it by um, Barrier and Win? Because that way you get a 7-7 seven, seven and 3 minions, not just 2 minions, like it's Dr. Boom. So if you wait for to 10, isn't it better to replace Dr. Boom by Varian? <laughs> I'm more up. Welcome to the Grand Fiesta Tank of. <laughs> Now we Residence Reaper. Okay, so how many turns do you have to Residence Reaper for this game to <laughs> end? <laughs> and now Ignite will probably attack with this death bite. He has a pretty good attack there. Yeah. A lot of value. Why is only on four cards in his hand? Do you th think he plays the banner or just hero power and wait? Um. Okay, he just waits. Yeah. Do you think it's exciting to watch two people just arm up and pass? Are you hyped for this? Yeah. Do you enjoy committing all your free time and practicing Hearthstone to watch people play armor or pass? Do people in Korea like to just arm up and pass all day? <laughs> okay, surrender. What would you do this turn? Would you arm up and pass or would you arm up and pass? <laughs> Armor of and tank of so boring. You play two minions, you pass into brawl, but there's no brawl in Ryzen Sand. Sometimes lucky. <laughs> and now he doesn't have a really efficient answer to the board, but he can't afford to take eight damage every turn. So what do you do? You could for example play Bash and Execute? Yeah. And by your reward X here. So you can kill the Starch next turn at least. Yeah. So far, it's 10 to 11 cards <laughs> in the deck. So <laughs> Ignite going to fatigue a little earlier, but he had the improved hero power for a lot of turns already. So one draw earlier won't make the difference, most likely, because he does have a board, so he does more damage to his opponent. And gets two more armor than his opponent every single turn. <laughs> but I think that Savannah is a pretty good play here because even if he has an answer, it will probably at least sli steal the slime. 
But he should play around Bro. What do you mean? If you just play Sylvanas and it's a Poland Falls? Yeah. You get the minion that survives. <laughs> I'm not sure if you played the game before, but Sylvanas Battle Cry is a uh, desperate list, still an opponent minion. So no matter what survives of Paul, he would keep a minion. So I don't know if it's correct to not play Sylvanas in that position. Hmm. Please. Since Chad and I really agree on surrender not being drunk enough, I think we should like take a shot on surrender. So everyone who's watching this, take a shot, go surrender. Ignite now having a full hand, so he has to do something. He can't just zero power pass this turn unless he wants to discard a card, which doesn't seem likely. At the very minimum, he will play his coin, but he might play a shield slam. He might play an acolyte, which doesn't seem that likely. He has to do something. What do you think? What do you do? Um. What do you think about bash and then slam, so slam doesn't cycle? Yeah. Okay, so bash then slam and attack face for two damage. Yeah. And you hope that your opponent plays um, Pilot the Treader, then you kill it, and then you Shield Slam the Wrath Guard that his opponent gets. Because if you Shield Slam a Wrath Guard, you deal 47 damage to your opponent. Now we have um, 70, no, uh, 77 HP. I think you miscounted. <laughs> no, you didn't, but he could shield slam his own shield. His own armor's missed to go to 79. So he missed two armor. <laughs> <laughs> so quite an interesting play by Ignite to not go for more armor, but Look at Ignite's hand, it doesn't really seem like he's going to get punished. Yuzera probably coming down because even though it dies to execute or shield slam, it dies to it anyway. He can't play on it forever, so he just wants to get his stream card right away. As of right now, Ignite is always 1.5 cards earlier to fatigue. So. Ryzen. Kind of betting for Jessica Trueheart. It's pretty unfortunate for him that Ignite had <laughs> the <laughs> 52 damages for one mana. Yeah. Do you think it's overpowered? Or do you think it's fair to do <laughs> damage for one mana? Live Ethera. Do you think that one mana spell deal 52 damage to an opponent minion is overpowered or is it balanced? Power. Okay, so Blizzard, <laughs> please. <laughs> He'll get the Desires of Agnes deal with both armors miss, but that doesn't give him enough value because he kind of needs more value. You can't just go for fatigue as he took so much, like he got so much less armor only because of the fact that his opponent too, Jessica Tuart, a lot earlier than he did. So we will see. Right now, it seems like that has a pretty good position with 58, uh, 59 armor. Do you brawl here? Because mm. brawl kills the opponent's boss, you keep your sludge belcher. Yeah. Both boom bots only deal two damage to your face together. But you could also be a game hunter if you really wanted to. Oh! Even if we have. Um, even if he's Shippo or Noki, at least he has BJH. So, so you would brawl this turn? Yeah. But he gets still brawl. He has 5 minutes left, he gets still brawl. Ignite being on 8 cards, he can use his coin at any point just to get rid of it. So, But within the next 3 turns he has to play at least 1 card. Actually no, because if he plays coin... Let's play one more card. After that, he can just 
doesn't play anything because he goes to fatigue and doesn't throw anyway. But he can use one more card because uh, before he would discard anything. Let's see, he might play Grom. At this point, it's not about um, saving Grom for a finish. It is about keeping the last minion. So he's considering if Sylvanas or Grommage gives him more value and he decides that Sylvanas is the better play. Shield, um, the Sludge Bracer was played first. So if Ryzen would trade his PK Manta and his Sludge into Sylvanas, because Sludge Badger was played first, it would trigger the Death Rattle first, and Sylvanas would steal the slime. So, no matter what, it seems like Sylvanas' Death Rattle will get value this game. Why isn't playing Baron Gannon to deal with the stolen slime? And now, let's see. I think I have an answer. For this one, you got big game hunter, but if a big game hunter is, I guess, he just two and second big game hunter, which means even if there's a Grom, you can just execute a big game hunter as well. He does attack phase, which I don't agree with personally because you don't really need the whirlwind, you kind of just want to. Win the fatigue battle by dealing with all your opponent minions. Not sure if taking face with your weapons does that, or if you'd rather save your weapons to deal with your opponent minions. On the other hand, he does have a lot of removal in a sense, so maybe he just realized he has more removal than his opponent has minions, so it might just not be necessary to save your weapons for minions. Okay, Ryzen finally got his Jessica Trueheart, will play Hero Power, Jessica Hero Power. But he has 24 armor to his opponent's 69 Craigasm armor. So, let's see if 24 armor is enough to win the Fatigue War. He does need a minute to stick around. He can't just win by Fatigue. Even if his opponent takes more Fatigue damage by having had more card draw during the game, 69 armor is more than enough to compensate that. So in order to win, Ryzen needs a minion to stick around and attack. My God! <laughs> so much happened while you were gone. So when I just had to leave for a second to deal with some important issues, but while you were gone, the game totally changed. Ignite went to over 70 armor, and while finally it was just a get too hard. How excited are you about those changes in the game? On a scale from resident sleeper to <laughs> Ming Li. What do you think? <laughs> the way the game looks right now, Wizen only has um, Grom, Sylvanas, and the last two cards, the last card in the stack. But Ignite has more than enough answers for that, so. Ryzen can't play his Acolytes, he can't play his Shield Block. I don't think it's a way for him to win. I think he will just yeah. die first to fatigue because right. he threw his Jessica too hard, too late. Yeah. I get unless, no, that's actually no reasonable way for Ignite to not win this game. Even if Ryzen could choose the cards in his hand, I don't think it's a <laughs> way for him to win. 
99 armor legend sleeper <laughs> So, while this match might have helped you fall asleep on the positive side of things, it looks like a 3 0, which means there will be no more games after this to make you fall asleep. So, it was boring, but made up for the boringness that could have appeared during the next two games. So, even though it seems unlucky if you look at the crater scale of things, it wasn't that bad. Now we'll see players playing Hero Power Pass. They don't want to do the mess, but <laughs> looking at Ignite's armor, I think I can predict who is going to win this. What do you think? Mm. Ignite, I mean, Serena doing the mess right now. Not sure on who is going to win this one, but. <laughs> I think that guy has a small edge in this. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> what a fun and exciting game. <laughs> What a fun. Yeah, it was so much fun. I uh, <laughs> really hope you enjoyed it. That was like probably the most exciting game we've seen so far in the Seed Story Cup. Number four. I hope we see more games like this. This is really why I fell in love in Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah, with Hearthstone. I know we've been all day for an exciting match like this, but after 10 hours of Seed Story today, <laughs> You finally s <laughs> got to witness this game, so in the end it was all worth it. Oh. <laughs> That's actually pretty weird play because it does make your opponent still take a light, but you can't really deal with it efficiently. You have to take it and only have to draw one card. So now he doesn't have that many answers. <laughs> so if Wise will play more mini minions in this deck. You have a small chance to just attack with minions again and again. But Ignite might just know Wise is stacked by now and just know that he only has Chrome left as a threat. Surrender. Yeah. What do you think can make this game more exciting? So anyway, to like make it look fun? No? No. Do you think that people who play Control Warrior should be banned from tournaments and everyone should be forced to play Patreon instead? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so dear tournament organizers, please don't make us watch this. Make us watch Patreon mirrors. Please stop playing Control Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> 10 fatigue damage. Have you ever seen that much fatigue damage in one game? Please. <laughs> Do you think that Wizen will concede once he sees the execute? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so please. Wizen, if you can hear us, first escape, first concede. Let us go to bed. Okay, so it seems like he's going forward. And he's <sighs> attacking it. 3 to 0. <laughs> Finally, the Resident Sleeper Mirror ends. And <laughs> we are on stream, yeah, so. Yeah. That was the last game for the B-Stream. If you want to watch more, 
Hearthstone, go over to twitch.tv slash takeTV underscore HS and watch the last match of the mainstream. For us, that's it for today. Have a good night and make sure to tune in to day three of the Seed Story Cup number four tomorrow. See you next time.